Hey children, this is Janine from Lollipops and today we are reading The Bad Tempered Ladybird by Eric Cole. It was night time and some fireflies were dancing around the moon. But at five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird came in from the left and saw some aphids on the leaf. It decided to eat them for breakfast. But then another ladybird came in from the right. It also saw the aphids and decided to eat them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, said the bad-tempered ladybird. We can share them. No, they're all mine. Or do you want to fight for them, said the bad-tempered ladybird. No, but if you insist, why don't you pick on some on your own size? Huh, I'll show you. And the bad-tempered ladybird flew away. And off he went to find someone his own size. At six o'clock he saw a wasp. Do you want to fight? Hmm, you're not big enough, said the ladybird. At seven o'clock it saw a beetle. Hmm, also not big enough. At eight o'clock it saw a praying mantis. Do you want to fight? Hmm, you're not big enough, says the ladybird. At nine o'clock, it saw a sparrow fly in. Want to fight, said the ladybird. Hmm, no, you're not big enough. At ten o'clock, he saw a big lobster swimming in the ocean. Hmm, also not big enough, said the ladybird. Wow, at 11 o'clock he bumped into a big skunk with a big fluffy tail. Do you want to fight? No, you're not big enough, said the ladybird. And off he went. At 12 o'clock, he saw a big snake. He asked the snake, do you want to fight? But then decided, no, the snake isn't big enough. And off he went. At one o'clock in the afternoon, he saw a hyena. <laughs> Hello, says the hyena. The ladybird said, do you want to fight? Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew away. At two o'clock, he saw a big gorilla. He asked the gorilla, do you want to fight? But then he flew away and said, the gorilla's not big enough. At three o'clock in the afternoon, he ran into a big rhinoceros. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, do you want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Hmm. Wow! At four o'clock, he saw a big elephant. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Do you want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its big, long trunk, showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew away. Five o'clock, it saw a big whale. Hey.
Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Do you want to fight? Hmm. But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew away. At 5.15, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey you, want to fight? But it didn't get an answer, so it flew away. The whale's flip flin is not going to answer. At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's fin, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so he flew away. At quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, the big tail, Hey you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap. Whoosh! That it flew right across the ocean and onto the land. Wow! The big whale and its tail hit the ladybird. At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird arrived back at the leaf with the friendly ladybird. Hey, you're welcome, says the friendly ladybird. Are you here again? There are still some aphids on the leaves. Are you hungry? Would you like to eat them for dinner? Oh, thank you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. I'm wet, tired and very hungry. Soon all the aphids were finished. Both the ladybirds had eaten them all up. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybirds and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out and danced around the moon. So children, that's the bad-tempered ladybird. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.